Hey guys, so I wanted to go over uh, how to set up a 3D Connexion uh, space mouse. Uh, basically, this is a motion controller, like you, you see the button for it here. Rotation position, we can click and uh, and then we can, we can move in a more fine way. But I had a little bit of difficulty with this, so I figured I'd make a video uh, to help people out. Basically, when you go into configuration, if you go to uh, screen, you know, uh, open that, go to view. Uh, I set the middle mouse button to pan. Uh, I click this use free mode in dynamic rotation. Uh, and, and then I went to the space mouse uh, 3D Connexion uh, software. If I can get that to come up, let's see here. Uh, shoot, that's weird. So I'm having trouble getting it on this. Okay, there, it's on top of the screen. So here's three, the, the Space Mouse Home for settings. And they have way too many axis of motion in this device. And I, I like the speed to be down here. There's a little bit of a weirdness with this Space Mouse software. And that is, there's no, like, save the settings. So you just have to hope that when you close, it does that for you. Uh, but what I what I ended up uh, getting this down to was I dropped pan zoom, and I dropped the twisting of the knob, and I moved the, uh, uh, I think, sensitivity uh, slightly down. Close that. I moved the speed down as well, close that. And so how does this actually work functionally? When you click into the software, what you're able to do by tilting the uh, space mouse, uh, whatever you want to call this joystick or knob, tilt it forward, it tilts the model in a, in a forward direction, pull back, it goes the opposite way. Uh, tilt left, it rolls in this in this motion here. Tilt right, it moves in that motion. Then I can click my center mouse wheel pan the model. Uh, if I ever get like off the screen, I can right click, hit fit. I can zoom with my mouse wheel, and this way the uh, little knob on the 3D space mouse isn't picking up like twist when I'm tilting left or picking up twist when I tilt right or thinking I'm pushing the knob forward or backward. There's like 12 axis motion of this little knob. Uh, but that's really hard to execute a maneuver in my opinion without stepping on another uh, axis of motion and having it just kind of spin out of control. So basically this is how I set the thing up. I don't know, your your mileage may vary, but I like this method because I can click my mouse wheel on my uh, Logitech 60, G602 mouse and I can drag, uh, you know, in a panning fashion, the model on the screen. And I can grab the motion controller and I could uh, tilt it, tilt it left or tilt it right or forward or back. I also have a shift button on the 3D Connection. It also has view buttons as well. So like I can go T, top view, and it'll spin me into a top view. I can go front, right, you know, so back to top. Also there's a button you can push on the space mouse that makes it, that changes the uh, the functions forward to zoom away, rever rever uh, back, tilting back toward myself to zoom, then uh, left to pan, right to and I don't really use that feature of functionality. Oh, look at that. There's a fit to screen button. I didn't even see that. Uh, but if you hold shift on the space mouse and click the center mouse wheel, you can also get an axis of motion with your mouse, which is kind of nice. So all in all, uh, a greater level of control. You know, I've got some buttons on the space mouse, escape, shift, control, alt, uh, the menu button pulls up the 3D Connexion uh, software. Uh, I have a couple functions, one, two, 
three and four. Three is a delete button, so that's dangerous. Uh, but but at any rate, this this gives you, in my in my opinion, a much better uh, control. I've still got it in backwards mode, so I, I had that. I think I had that button pressed. Let's see, fit. This is weird. I've got it stuck. Uh, fit. Okay, so I'm zooming away. It's like I've got it stuck in the uh, in the zooming mode, which is pretty dumb. And I don't know what the story is on that. Huh. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't use that uh, change the function button because obviously I've gotten myself into a pickle here. Where it's not, it's not working properly. So maybe I'll pull up the menu quick. Go to advanced settings. Okay. I don't know why. I guess when I push that button it brought my pan back. This is where this can be frustrating. Uh, I'd like this to save these de these defaults. Uh, and I, I don't know why it, it doesn't save that information. Okay, so I'm back to... Anyway, I wouldn't recommend pushing the button in the middle of views. Or you might end up having to go into your menu. Uh, because like, like I just showed you... Uh, that reversing of the feature functionality by pressing the button in the middle of the views on the right side of the space mouse had me zooming where I wanted it to tilt. Anyway, uh, that's that's pretty much, uh, this was a little confusing, it took me maybe an hour and a half, a couple calls to shop where to figure out what's going on with the uh, space mouse, uh, but that's, that's the best version of control I've gotten of views. Uh, so not not a bad product.